beast from the east is out, so it really sounds like the best of Tokyo, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it's completely different than any of our studio albums, obviously, being recorded live, but we wanted to capture that live energy. And uh, probably sonically, it doesn't sound, doesn't have the depth or any, uh, you know, that the studio album would have, but I don't think you'd expect that. Mm -hmm. uh, but what it does have, it, you know, it has a lot more energy, a lot more, um, just a lot more playing, you know. We don't stick exactly to the album version, so it's the different versions of the songs. So we hear you didn't take uh, much time for overdubs. Were you satisfied with the results? Yeah, basically we didn't want to change mm -hmm. the sound or, or the playing. Basically, we wanted to fix mistakes, uh -huh. you know, because they're, uh, when, when you do a live album, a lot of bands, the live albums are actually studio albums. Mm -hmm. They just redo the whole thing over again. Mm -hmm. But um, we tried to minimize that and just fix what we had to fix and leave it as it was. Yeah, the most important questions of all today for me is uh, what's going to happen with the Dokken now? Well, uh, uh, the band hasn't really disbanded, but uh, technically, but we're going to do different projects. Mm -hmm. And uh, Don's got uh, some players from Black and Blue mm -hmm. together that he's playing with, and uh, I think he's written some things with John Norm. And, mm -hmm. um, Jeff and Nick and I have um, decided to do something called Flesh and Blood, and that's. Um, but it's really like in in the writing stage, and, I, and the songs haven't really been written. The album hasn't been written yet, so it'll be a while before we do anything. Det är ju att kunna dra kapten. Nej, du har det.